Hey, welcome back to another video on our Java Enterprise application. In this video, we're going to add a new column to the uh, index page. So over here on the right side, we're going to have a list of num uh, buttons. And each button will be a delete button. So then we'll process the click item and then we'll remove one of these from the database. So let's get started. Let's go look at the uh, index page first, and we're going to add a new column here. So let's take an existing column and borrow the code. So we'll copy and paste it. So this code here is going to be having a title of, um, let's call it deletes. And then, and instead of input text in here, we're going to delete that, and we're going to put in a small form. So let's go with the uh, H form command and then inside of the form command we're gonna just put a button so H and it's called a command button and the value so are the action so it's gonna come from the form controller and we need to create a on delete function doesn't exist yet but it will soon and let's say we're gonna call it delete me so it looks like we need a new method here, and let's put it right at the bottom. Let's call it public, and let's see, we're going to return a string, and it's going to be called onDelete. And we're going to run the delete command. So what are we going to return? We're going to return the page that comes next after we click, which is the response page.xhtml. Okay, so we need to delete this. Well, we're going to copy some code from what we did earlier. So let's go look in the submit edit. And we're going to uh, copy everything in there. All the way to the bottom. Okay, now make some changes. And let's see, the object you entered is, and let's see, you plan to delete, we'll call it that way. So the data service, instead of doing insert one, we're going to use a different command, which is ds.delete one, and is expecting the ID number. Well, we can do that. We can say b.getID, and we'll send it off to the database. So instead of using um, uh, just a blank here, we can send in a value, so we can say, Hey, the current thing that is in our row, we're going to send that. So if I send a thing object, which is the current row, and we go into our form controller, it's going to be expecting an object here. So that would be a beautiful thing. We'll call it B. And right away it says, hey, you're trying to fetch this from the get values. We don't need that anymore. We're sending the object as a parameter. And now, let's see, that might work better. Let's save that. We're going to run it and see if it'll catch the correct number this time. So we're going to try number 18, delete this. Well, I'm going to clear my console log and see if there's messages here. Delete me. And did we get lucky? It says here, connection is successful. Rows affected was one, and it does show up here the item that we deleted. It should be gone. Let's go back, and it's still there, but if we refresh the page, pepperoni is missing. So delete seems to be working. Uh, we need a little bit better navigation, but the uh, delete me button certainly is doing its job. So let's call that done for now. We're going to create edit buttons and then put some uh, buttons at the top for navigation. And our app will be pretty close to finished.